Welcome everyone. Welcome back to the Coach's Desk. I'm your host, Coach Minzy, and we are here to talk about the Reggae Girls Letter. And that is versus Vin Blaine. Yeah. And uh we'll be talk well, Jamal Low promotion to the to the Premier League. And um we'll also be talking about Blair Tugger. He has found a club. So it's a call-in show tonight, people. You have to call in. Let your voice be heard after I read the contents of the letter. Yeah, man. We have the, we have, we have the letter in and Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, people, we're going to go through the introduction or intro. And then we will be right back to delve into this interesting conversation, interesting topic. We will be right back. Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season will come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Trusting that everybody's doing well, everybody's doing all right. Welcome to the persons over on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks to all the people who decide to be here. It's the first night of the weekend's triple treat. Yes, it's a few days to go before Mother's Day. Big up to all the mothers in the house. Not sure if we're going to be having a show Sunday because, you know, it's Mother's Day. But we have to give uh, send an early shout out to the mothers. Big up to all the mothers, you know. Mothers, yes. Collision took place. Yes, between egg and semen. And that's where you and I came into being. And the vessel that was used to, you know, assisting our, our growth and development is the womb of a woman. Yeah, man, so we have to big up the mothers then, you know what I mean? So welcome, everyone. Of course, you know the golden rule. The golden rule is to like up the stream, and that's a means of you sanitizing people. So like up the stream. Like up the stream. Yeah, man, how is everybody doing? So I'll be reading the contents of the letter soon enough. Mm -hmm. I'll be reading the contents of the letter soon. So, so definitely, 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 we will be checking that out. All right. Um. Well, but things are missed me now. Well, but things are going. But we know we soon, we soon, we soon, we soon, we soon fall back in line, people. We soon go back into line. Yeah, man. And when we when we touch down. So, uh, you are free to call in, everyone. You are free to call in. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right, so we see we have some people in the comment section. Duclan Stennett, big up herself. Jason Ferran, big up herself. Check, check, check. Erudite in the building. Then you have Young Cryptic in the building. Big up herself, Young Cryptic. Yeah, man, welcome, welcome, welcome. Young uh, Cryptic, big up on herself. Yeah, man, thanks for tuning in. Thanks very much for tuning in. Yeah, man. Thanks for tuning in. Hold on, hold on. All right. So, I right, give some more people some time to come on before I, I go ahead and read contents of the letter. Well. Person should have had that already. 
but you know, we still have to give you as we get it. You know what I mean? Hot chili, big up yourself and welcome. Welcome to Crystal Images Sound Production. Big up yourself. Yeah, man, I appreciate you being here. Yeah, man. All right, so the number to call in is 1-876-474-3... Is it? Oh, it go again. 3538, yes. 1-876-474-3538. That's the number to call in. Um, let your voice be heard on this uh, topical discussion. Yeah? Welcome one and all. Big up on yourself. Yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. Sorry about the late, you know, start to these triple tweet from the other day. I mean, tomorrow we might be late again because different time zone. <laughs> and you know the time does zoops. Just you know what I thought about. The time does cut so, you know what I mean? Christopher Carr, big up yourself. Another night of the madness with three of Jamaica football. <laughs> what do you mean by that, um actually? What do you mean by that? Talk to me now. Um, actually, clear up the clear up that sentence. Actually, coach, are you going to the chat meet in Maryland tomorrow? Yeah, man, I'll be there, man. Crystal image, you're gonna be there, people. If you come at the chat meet today on the Africa Hill coaches desk, I make we at least snap some picture and, and make the people that know the link up take place. You know what I mean? Jobless, pick up yourself, jobless. Yeah, man, we're there, you're not jobless. A little bit late because time does go like that. <laughs> I think you're speaking of the friend list coming up. Oh. Okay, okay. Mega favor, big up yourself. What 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 mad this I go out the friend list now? Me no hear what go on. <laughs> Actually it's not Jamaica, it's Jamaica. <laughs> Hey, when actually touch a line in the money. <laughs> hey, man, actually, actually, I, 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 I don't feel like. <laughs> You know, actually, big up yourself, you know, actually. That was a blunder. Hey, it was a blunder, and him just turned in a style. No, yeah, man. <laughs> Achuna, Achuna, um, Jason is a blunder for true, man. And him just quick, you know, real hot chili. <laughs> All right, so let me see if we can read out the contents and see how much we can, you know. All right, so this letter was dated April 25, 2022, all right? And it was sent to Michael Ricketts, president, Jamaica Football Federation, 20 St. Lucia Drive. People, give me a second. One minute. One minute. Less than a minute.
Yeah, people, we're back. We're back. We're back. You get some fluid. It is a good. Yeah, man, it's a good thing for Jamalo. But yeah, right back to the contents of the letter. So, 20 Cent Lucia Crescent, Kingston, whatever, whatever. Dear Mr. Ricketts, re dissatisfaction with coaching staff. So all of this had to do with the girls being displeased with what the coaching staff was doing, right? And, I mean, like I said, I don't believe that this should have been in the media. I think it's something that they should have quelled or sorted out uh, behind closed door. But I think that somebody leaked it to the media. And then once it is leaked, then, you know, it becomes a topical situation and for the past few weeks it has been trending yeah man this 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 vin blaine versus the reggae girls it has been trending for the past few weeks all right and we we we, we probably this topic probably would have been exhausted but but we can triple treat this is where we talk and just remember you can call in after i read the letter and all of that you can call in so that um, we can have discussion where it is concerned. So this communication serves to express our disappointment with the leadership of our present coaching staff and our, our inability to further commit to this cause in the absence of meaningful intervention on your part. So they reached out to the, to the JFF because they believe that the situation needed intervention. And for some reason, I don't know if intervention has taken place to date. Our challenges did not arise abruptly, but we have been compounded by our last two international windows and World Cup qualifying matches. As players, our dedication has been unquestionable. We have shown unwavering resilience throughout this season and believe we have the requisite talent to take our country to another World Cup. So the girls are confident in, in, in the ability that they possess to go to another World Cup. However, despite our best efforts, we do not believe the present coaching staff has the required skills and personnel to help us advance to higher levels this coming July. <laughs> Against that backdrop, the team struggles to make a pledge going forward. Wow. Our main concerns have been coaching the headline there, lack of details in training session, Lack of video analysis. I thought Mr. Car Carbon was working with the girls. Hmm. Set pieces. And those were highlighted. The lack of video analysis. And set pieces were highlighted. Post-match review for team improvement. The absence of an organized game plan. No tactical training sessions. Lack of specificity of training sessions leading up to matches. Mm. So as we heard, everybody here heard um, Coach Blaine. Outside forces are influencing this thing. And, yeah, that is where it is. <laughs> Let me move on. The absence of specific positive instructions. Specific positive instructions. Lack of incorporation of all aspects of training 
Uh, they highlighted this part again, recovery, methodology, strength work. No, that has to do with the coaching aspect. Communication now. Insufficient follow-ups. This is highlighted. No opening and closing meetings. So that is a communication issue on the part of organization. Lack of professionalism. The absence of staff without any reasonable or provided explanation. Scant regard for punctuality. The absence of a schedule daily or otherwise. <laughs> that is highlighted. As a result of the shared concerns, the relationship between ourselves and the present staff has depreciated significantly if not disjointed put simply the staff does not know or make any efforts to know the players and this is untenable whilst we appreciate the conundrum you are now placed into the remedy that highlighted deficiencies our commitment is contingent on decisive and serious actions as unless is an indication of a futureless reggae girls. We await your favorable response and hope that this matter can be settled amicably. Yours sincerely. And some of the know some of the girls them were, were, were signed. Van Zanten, Alika Keen, Mayara Gray, Tiffany Cameron, Chinalu Asha, Rebecca Spencer, Samson, Jameson, Yasmin, Courtney, yeah, Wilshire. These are the ladies, some of the ladies. Khadija Shaw, yeah, man. I mean, Shudi, Carter, Jody Brown. All of these um, persons actually signed the letter. Julian Leitman, big up yourself. The fact of the matter is, you know, people, I believe, and I'm not making a decision for the court, but if I were in that position, I would just walk away. Trust me. I'd walk. Because if the if this is the content of the letter and the ladies outline these things, can these things be fixed? Can these things be fixed? Will it and I, I hear coaches saying that there are a lot of external forces influencing the girls. So apparently he's refuting the claims that are, are being made. You understand? I don't know. I don't know if this can be fixed. Honestly. I don't know if it can be fixed. I don't know if it will be fixed. All I know is that there is a need for intervention. The girls are crying out. They explain that this is not an abrupt sort of situation. It has been on their heart for a long time and it was compounded with the last two internationals. So obviously they were they have been bottling up these things. If I were the coach, I would cut. What did I say? If I were the coach, I would cut. It doesn't make no sense for real. 
it makes no sense, people, that they would have, you know, stayed in a situation like this. Or the coach. I mean, to go back into that sort of situation, it, it, it would be tough to gain the trust again, try to act based on what the content of the letter. Trust me, it, it's going to be a sore situation. It's going to be a sore situation. If I were in that situation, trust me, I'd walk. I'd definitely walk away. Yeah, man, I'd, I'd walk away, man. Walk. Who would stay in a situation like this? Would you stay in a situation like this? Your charges them not trust you. Your charges them up burn bad lamp for you. Okay, that now go nice. That now go nice. Better the brother man just walk away because only Jesus can fix this. <laughs> Listen, the, 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 the JFF can't fix it. It's tough, Virgin. It's tough. It's tough. Tough, tough, tough. I just, I just, I just hope things can, can get into gear, whatever they do. And to me, it sounds like the coach does not want to go. It's a Rob Smith. It's a, it's a, it's too, you need to see me in studio, right? <laughs> yeah, man, we're so, we're so far, man. Yeah, young, young cryptic, yeah, man. If they don't trust what I'm doing, the results would speak for themselves. Well, others might say, though, you know, it's because of the talent. It's the talent of the ladies. Why they would have gone those four games with a win. Or winning four games. It's the talent of the ladies. It has nothing to do, to do with the coach. Some would say. Because based on those assertions and the narrative, it, 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 it would have me to believe that they don't believe in the ability of the coach. It's just one of those things. And, and, and trust me, it, it's kind of sad to know that, I mean, at, the, at that point of the season, is when the the, the, the the girls decide to, you know? Will this cause them not to make the World Cup? I don't know. Would somebody take up an interim position, one of the girls? Or will they, as a team, do their thing? Whole other questions to ask, you know? Mm -hmm. A whole lot of questions to ask. Imagine if you are a teacher and all the students hate you. How will they learn? Or in this case, how will the girls perform with such bad energy? Yeah, the energy are bad. Because it doesn't matter what instruction you're giving up. There's going to always be question. It's like you're talking and no, everybody does around there giggling, minding their own business. They're not because they're not interested in listening to you because they believe that what you're telling them is utter garbage. You know what I mean? I'm Rob Smith. In the US, I believe it will be on Flow Track and Track alerts will be providing live streaming for the Jamaican audience. Do the girls have a replacement in mind? The, the, the letter did not indicate
they did not indicate that they had somebody in mind. They indicate that they want an amicable solution going forward. Because if it is not solved, they are not going to be playing. Obviously, they don't want Vin Blaine. That is obvious. And if Vin Blaine decides to stay and the JFF decides to allow him to stay, then the football like a mashup. That's what the girls them say. <laughs> Jiggy dancer Carl Tapa. <laughs> if they replace him and not make work up, they're gonna blame him. It's rough. They can't blame him. They can't blame him, you know. Because he would have come in as an interim coach, get a team together. They don't like his style, they don't like this, they don't like that. But they get results. So they have to depend on the talent, doesn't matter who comes in. Because if they are if they had an incompetent coach and you got four wins from four with an incompetent coach, then if somebody comes in that you like, then you might you, you, you might get this a similar result. So <laughs> yeah, actually. Steady Rai Roach, you said it appears there is outside influence. So the girls are confused. No, the coach, the coach, the coach said he believes this is not coming from the girls directly. It is coming from outside influence. Steady Rai. That's what the coach said. You understand? So I don't know. John Paul, big up yourself. Damien McGregor, big up. This is really embarrassing from one thing to the other. Yep. The girls are my are my all professional now. Yeah, and they would have exposed a certain things now. But here's what I, I look on um Julian. Late man, the fact of the matter is the same regime that you go under at your club, you don't go under at a national team because there might be difference. Everybody do them thing differently. So if 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 it is a case where, where they are comparing what they get or what they do at uh the club, then I mean it's not a year or there because to me. It doesn't matter which. So, for example, they get transferred to another team. They can't tell the coach what to do. It's either they just play because they were transferred. They just have to come in and adapt to the system. But apparently they have nothing to do with um, Coach Blaine's system. Good evening, CD. Tiddlywings ask, do I have permission to speak? Well, we soon drop the link, so of course, and you can call in. Yeah, man, it's a call-in show tonight, you know, you can call in, man. Gregory Reed. Good night, coach. How are you doing, sir? Boy, right now, I'm doing the do. Tired, but we still have to do the, the triple treat. No. Carla, good evening. You're live on the coach's desk. Mm -hmm. I am professional now. This, the coaching system in Jamaica is outdated. Mm -hmm. I think they know that. Okay. The same guy who is a FIFA instructor. And look at the state of coaching in Jamaica. So you're saying that they, they believe that it is outdated? Of course. It's not that what they believe. That's what we know. All right. Let, let, us, let us look at the country. Let us look. Karma, it's karma catching. This is the same guy I'm talking five minutes. Quick, quick break. I don't know nothing. <laughs> it's karma catching. <laughs> All right, Carla. 
the next year. Here it is. The next year. Mm-hmm. Five of the girls, you have them from their 14. Mm-hmm. You're going to tell me somebody just get them from outside and can influence five of those girls? I mean, he has them from there are 14. But 14. They, yeah, but they would have gotten um older thing for themselves yeah, and all. So you can't they're use that. Passion. Listen, you see, any athlete or any footballer that I had before, I don't want to say I have no, I had them from this, I had them from that. Because guess what? They moved on to somebody else. That person might have yes. more influence than I have. So That's what happened to him and he can't realize it. So, 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 Carla, these are the things that they, 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 the girls spoke about. And in terms of his coaching, lack of details in training session, lack of video analysis, set pieces, post-match review for improvement, absence of an organized game plan, no tactical training session, lack of specificity of training sessions leading up to matches. These are some big things that the girls highlighted, you know. Okay, okay. I'm living in Canada. Mm -hmm. You know, every coach in Canada has to have a license to coach even 12 year girls. Mm -hmm. You think they don't know that? They know all these things from 12 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know. They're exposed to it in Europe now. What are you going to try and tell them? <laughs> but, but why did they wait so long? But what they're saying, there was a, there was a second letter. I think, I think a letter was sent before. Oh. And so JFF ignored it. Oh, okay. They saw what I'm hearing. Or there were there was a first letter. This letter is the second one. Second one, yeah, there was the first letter. Mm -hmm. And and you must remember, there's three coaches that brought this girl to to the World Cup. I think one is Lon Lon Danielson. All these coaches run some academy in 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 Florida. Mm -hmm. They are licensed coach. You see, it's, it's, it's the problem in Jamaica. Football is like medicine. Every month, something changes. Mm -hmm. So if you, don't up, if you don't upgrade, everything leaves you. Yeah. Football leaves Jamaica a long time. The train leaves the station a long time. How do you realize? <laughs> you see, you see. Most of the guys do play, play abroad. You know, men are, men are different. They're not going to come back and diss the coach. And men will do that. They will chat you. <laughs> tell you, you're no good. But all of them, if you talk to them privately, they will tell you what they learn in Jamaica is different. It's like, it's like when they go abroad, they deprogram them. Mm-hmm. And that's why, no matter how you see you, the, the kid is good and leave Jamaica. If you notice sometimes, like, for example, in America, the second tier, the second tier league, it's like they can't leave down there. Okay. They can't leave there. We have all the speed and the skill. But the basic principle of the game, we don't have it. Mm -hmm. But, but here, hear this comment, um, Carla. Stedroy Roach is saying, from the context of the letter, do you think those girls wrote the letter? Of course. We're going to the Premier League and Champions League. Mm. <laughs> you don't really expose to that. Yeah, man, most of them playing in Europe, man. If not all of them. Of course, they're exposed. Mm -hmm. They're exposed to it. So their, their, their training that they're getting in Europe, the game plan and all of these things, the tactical leader. All lead of these up, things aren't there. 
So, so, so they are. Okay, okay. So it's a comparison, you know. And once they are not seeing my, it, they are going to have issues. I'm going to tell you, my cousin, my cousin coach on the twelfth grade year. Mm -hmm. And after, after every training, you have to warm them. But I think that is A B C. That is A B C in. That is A B C in coaching still now. You warm up and you cool yeah. down. <laughs> uh. What he should have done, he should have looked into himself instead of criticized that he have outside forces. He's the same man who criticized Craig Butler, said Craig Butler don't know nothing about coaching. <laughs> so he says, Karma get the Karma catch him. That's Karma catch him, man. And he hasn't been to Europe. But this man is a is a is a FIFA um instructor. No? Yes, we all know that. But there is not everybody of a degree can teach you. Not know? <laughs> 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 everybody of a degree can teach. Degree in what? If you have a degree in teaching, I suppose you can teach one. <laughs> Story. I, I was at a reputable teacher's college in Jamaica. And there was a girl from Clarendon College. And when she went back to Clarendon College, she did not have a first degree nor a second degree. Mm -hmm. And the principal looked at her and gave her the sixth form. Over how no one the degree to teach six one. I'm telling you that the principal gave her the six one to teach. And she just coming straight from college. You see when you want to do something, you want to do it. You can you can train and develop the man. Yes. You can train and do it too over a period of time. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you just you have you just have a knock for certain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have some persons have the natural inclination, like you said, a knock for it. Yeah, that that is true. Yeah, and, and, and it's, it's harder. People don't realize it's harder to coach women because you, have you, to, hey. you can't tell women you don't take talk from them. Hey, you make a serious point there, in a bridge. You can't tell me you to talk from them. I know any or any. You better listen to them. I know any or any people can coach females, you know. The hardest. Yeah, I've man. Met a, I've, I've met a French coaching and they run from women. And you see, the, the females are very emotional, you know. You can't shout at them. You can't do certain things. Shout them, at what? Them, them shut down on them things, you know. Shout at what? If they're questioning you, you better answer question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, you have a good night, sir. Yeah, man. Big up yourself, man. And thanks for calling yeah. me. All right. So, the line is still open, everybody. Big up yourself and calling. Um... Gregory, this said, remember, quote, these girls are college girls. Yeah, man. Most, if not all of them. Don't take them lightly. Don't take them lightly. Trust me. Like I said, college girls. So it's not like they. The content of the letter they could not have penned. Simple thing that man. Yeah, dear man McGregor, he made some serious points, man. Very salient points. It's not every every and every person can coach um females. 
females are difficult to coach. I can tell you that. Difficult. You have to have patience. You have to you have to be skillful with your words. You have to have the knock for it. You have to have the, the, the psychological part of it. No, trust me. Especially on the emotional side. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's serious. Big up yourself, Andrew Nicholson, Nicholas Smith. Um, the girls that need English for America coach. Julian Leitman, I don't understand that. The girls that need English for America, I don't understand that. So, these are some serious, serious things that the girls are saying. And like I said, if 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 I were in the position, trust me, I I I would move. Mm hmm. I would have decided to leave. Rich Poor Sports. Speaking. Speak. Speaking. <laughs> CD. Yeah, man. This is a ticklish situation. This may be the first time I dare properly speak about it, and I'm only going to touch lightly with your permission and with your support and help mm -hmm. especially as a coach it's because you are a coach mm -hmm. with some insight into coaching why i have picked up the phone at minutes to three o'clock in england wow yeah man respect man big man every time every time every time respect to you sir respect to you i know you're a busy man and you've been following the um Pens relay and doing all sorts. So, full respect, sir. Um, enjoy the coverage. Mm -hmm. Respect. Yeah, man. Uh, there's two. It's a two-folded attack, not attack, but a sided argument that I want to put to you. As a coach, do you think that this is set back Jamaican coaches? in terms of their perceived skills and ability going forward. Yeah, remember we spoke about that, you know, you know, you know, you know. Especially on the football side. For the track and field yeah. coaches, I think that they are world class. So we don't have a good here. But in terms of and and you see for me, Richard I don't know the intricacies of the, 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 the courses that they do. But for me, I think there is an amount of psychology or psychological aspect of the training that is missing. The physical aspect is good, yeah. You need to know how to prepare a team, but not just physically prepare a team. You understand? And based on the content of the letter, that it tells me that the girls would have made some of that very clear. It's not only about the physical. The physical is important. Tactical awareness, you know, um, all of these things. But you have to be able to reach to people. Because the people you are dealing with, you know, people you are dealing with as a coach. So... I believe that we, the, the training that we receive, it is not as deep or it's not a situation where we can um, delve into what you call it now, international market. That, that, that I think there are some weakness 
in, in our own preparation. Because a, a, a man used to look, he used to play football, he like football, yeah, he get the training, so he know the physical part of it. So he go back to those training courses that are done in Jamaica. He breeze through that. But what about the other aspect of the game? The, these are the concerns that I have. concerns would be justified. What is alarming, certainly from this side of the fence, Mm -hmm. is that a capable crop and stock of players have felt sufficiently concerned as to have supported a letter such as this and uh, uh, does it does it alarm you coach's desk let me let me just try to, 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 to clarify the point does it alarm you that a situation such as this has come to the fore where a combination of player power which is the second point that i want to get to and get your thoughts on that player power quote unquote mixed with dissatisfaction of the competence and quality of the training being received results in a situation such as this. And we've not even got to the leakage situation, which I'd like to get your, and crave your indulgence in terms of what you feel the the role of um, social media and media in general um, could and should have been in a situation such as this. So does it alarm you? that such a, a situation such as this has arisen? Or did you think, you know what, this had to come to light because the long and short of it is we need better quality coaching in Jamaica when it comes to football, as opposed to athletics, where we've got the Stephen Francis and the, the various people um, 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 uh, who, who, who lead the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably it would have come to the fore, but look, 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 look where it, which door it came through. It came through the door of persons who actually are engaged in high level of professional exchange, where where that is concerned. So they would have been there. They would have understood what is happening and they decide that they are not gonna accept mediocrity. If I if I if I want to use a better term, you know what I mean? So it 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 is it is it is it is crazy, it is crazy. You know what I mean? But I, 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 I do. yes. You you you'd expect you expect it to happen. Well, you you probably wouldn't expect it to happen this way, but you can understand why it happened because these individuals are well trained. You understand? Yes. These individuals are well trained. So they they are not going to be accepting anything less than what they believe they should be getting. So that's the situation. And I hear you loud and clear. Loud and clear. This is a carrion call. This might be part of the hard questions that have to be asked. I want to follow this particular train of thought because I've often asked the question on social platforms and asked and reflected to myself as to whether Jamaica is a footballing, quote-unquote, country and does it have a, a sufficiently mature footballing community. I don't know what your thoughts are on that because... If we have followed 
uh, Jamaican reggae boy senior campaign um, where the, the last coach was incumbent um, at least one, maybe more than one occasion. Hold on a second. Aspirations and expectations were so high. Richard, hold on a second. Don't you think? Yes, sir. Hold on a second. Yeah, Richard. Yeah, yeah, peace of a conversation. But go ahead. Everything blessed, sir. Yeah, Everything man. Everything is perfect and confidential. No problem. Do you, do you think it's a, a fool's paradise, quote unquote, whereby the football fans in Jamaica in general have had too high an expectation of national teams and representative teams in football? When, in fact, the long and short of the matter is the leadership, and we're not talking JFF necessarily, though that might come into the equation, the leadership immediately, i.e. the coach or manager and managers, have come short in that they don't have the necessarily sk necessary skills to bring out the best in terms of organization and preparation of national teams. It's surprising that the fans, if they had enough insight, they may have said, well, hold on a minute, we shouldn't be expecting Gold Cup finalists. We shouldn't be expecting World Cup qualifications. We shouldn't be expecting uh, players coming in and, 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 and producing their best. Because simply put, the coaches, Jamaican coaches, are simply not cutting the mustard. What say to you? Richard, this is going to be sounding like a scratch record. I've been saying it a long time ago. The talent is here, but the preparation, the development of the talent is hinged on the type of coaches that we have. The coaches, they can do their thing, but I don't believe that we are up to standard internationally. And that's where it, get big. it gets big. And if we don't reach that stage, we're in a problem. Simple. may have been speaking that and I think that it's um it's gonna reach certain ears that you're saying that again because this is as far as I'm concerned a standout moment. I grew up watching track and field over the decades where Jamaican athletes, the creme de la creme, have performed magnificently on the world stage. I've joined the bandwagon having watched the World Cup campaign and the Gold Cup campaign ground to a halt, but the, the, the immediate focus wasn't on the, the, the inadequacy of coaches, it was more an individual and the JFF. Are you saying to me, and saying to the listeners and subscribers, please hit the like, share and subscribe button, people, good people who are taking the time to listen to CD tonight. Please hit the like button. There's quality conversation here and reasoning. Are you saying that Jamaican coaches, footballing coaches, 
need to up their certification and their standards because it is not up to scratch. And an international coach or coaches such as Paul Hall may be the way to go until such time. Yes. And they, they probably need to, to, to revamp the, 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 the coach's education, whatever manual they use, because even at the, 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 the D license, that needs to be up. I don't know what takes place at the C license, but I mean, it has to change. It has to evolve. Because if it doesn't, then trust me, the, the, the cycle will continue. for example, has travelled and receiving, hopefully receiving some quality education and information. How, how keen do you feel Jamaican coaches, coaches and budding Jamaican coaches are? And let me maybe put it further. How keen do you think Jamaican football fans are for our national coaches, representative coaches? Um, is, how keen is it that they, they can receive overseas Education. It's good to travel, is the phrase. Yeah, it's Jamaica are willing to accept that particular term. I don't know if they will accept it, but I mean, it is. A, it, we are not the mecca of the sport. It, the mecca is not in Jamaica. The mecca is not even Concacaf. So this Concacaf thing that we're getting is good. It is a start, but persons need to try and and, and build networks so that they can go off on a two weeks and you know get some courses in and in in you know in and around so that they can get the education that they require to compete on the international market. You know what I mean? Clearly expressed CD. Absolutely clearly expressed. I'm not gonna take up too much more of your time. Yeah, I'm man. sure other callers may want to pipe in and you may one more question mm -hmm. uh, it's not a hypothetical one I'm going to ask them actually twofold player power in general what's your stance and take on, on what? player power in general um, we could have the example of Chelsea um, Jogba Terry and Cole when um, they went on to lift the European Cup um, under Roberto Di Matteo who seemingly just said you guys you know what you're doing off you go but what's your stance on, on player power in general terms well, this is not the first thing, uh, first time player power is been exhibited or highlighted. The players have a lot, have a, have a lot of power. Some probably know, some don't know. But especially when they galvanize and they amalgamate and they build their consortium, then certainly it's gonna be tough for whoever is in the in in the position not doing what they do. They need to do uh, what, what they expect. Then they are going to come under a whole lot of scrutiny. You know what I mean? So it is, it is about it is about the coaches to have what they need to have so that when these players rise up, they are not seen as the ones that really is, you know? The, the the troublemaker, so to speak. The player them have a lot of power, man. A whole lot of power. The, if the player rise up against the coach, the coach makes sense him go. You understand? Wow. It makes sense him go because if you're not getting the support of the players that you go out to get instruction, then it doesn't make sense. No make no sense. But players have the power. Some know, some don't exhibit it. But they know that they have the power. Some players like the coach, so they will work with them. They will be patient with them. A few might rise up. But if they don't have the entire team rising up, then you might be you might have a fraction here and there. You might have, you know, disjointed thing. But when everybody come together, I would advise you to run. So that's why I was saying I, that I, I, I think I think Vin Blaine 
hard as the decision might be, I think he should walk. I think he's a nice guy, good guy, but the gr the girls are uh, are not based on this letter, so I think he should just walk. There's a takeaway sentence right there, one of many from your set of answers, CD. Outstanding and clear as usual. I've been sharing the platform and spending some time with Delawa Crystal Davis, as you may or may not know. I know you come on the show sometimes. Yeah, man, big up Outstanding Crystal. reasoning and respectful discussion. And this is why it's a pleasure linking with you, CD, because mm -hmm. on Coach's desk, you also receive and engage in quality reasoning and discussion. Hit the like button people if you haven't done so if you haven't done so please hit the like and share and subscribe button this increases the visibility of discussions and programs such as this and we want the jamaican footballing community and wider footballing communities to listen retrospectively to conversations and comments which i'm sure are flowing through as we speak on yeah, well. coach's desk a last one for now cd uh, it may be a little ticklish, I don't know. We did actually um, talk about this and touch on this on Talawa TV. Um, hypothetically or not, what's your stance on information? You can give us actually some insight into this in general terms, um, if necessary. What's your insight and your take on media and media's responsibilities? If a story is being leaked, you've been given a nudge, a heads up, and a document or a comment or state statement has been placed in your hands or given over the telephone and someone says, release this. What do you think media responsibilities are? Should they question the viability of the source and the content? Should they reflect on maybe how this looks if it gets out to the public domain, into the public domain, or as long as you believe the source is credible and the information is true, because it's your credibility that would be on the line if it wasn't true, it then leaves you to be in that position of maybe being the moral guardian as such. Is this a good look, even though the content and the issues are a real, quote unquote? What are media responsibilities where that is concerned? And have you ever found yourself in a particular situation or do you reflect on these situations where you, you may say, hmm, I, I know you want me to release this, but who are you? Where is this coming from? Has this got approval? I'd like to double check and get it from another person just to verify that it's okay to go out there. Speak, sir. Speak as you may. Boy, Richard, may I have, may have an answer for the first part of the question, but once it does continue, sometimes you question them so long it does run off that the answer out of me. But let me see how best I can answer. Um, I think the responsibility of the media, it, it, it goes both ways. You get information. You're you check, the name on there. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's, the, that's the question. You, you check the ahead. credibility and then you decide you decide for if what kind of impact this will go this will have. You decide if you release it yes or no. This information, I believe it sh it should have been held a little bit longer and see how best the, it, it can be dealt with in house before it um, was released to the to, to the media. But you have access to information again, some people and people are friends. And information will go out, and then you have some investigative journalists who will go to the extreme to get the information. You know what I mean? So trust me, it goes it go both ways. And yes, I've gotten information before, and I delay in releasing the information. Then I see it being released elsewhere. So that that kind of weight come off of my shoulder when we see something like that happen. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I've gotten information, some that I have not released to date. Because some things you just don't want out there. Trust me.
Respect CD. Yeah, man. Bless up yourself. Respect for your time and quality answers. All of the best and um, safe travel. You're, are you in the States still? Yeah, man. I'm still in the States. All right. Well, hold tight and um, all the very best. Good health, good wealth, and um, safe journey as and when you make your return. And keep up the good work, sir. I'm watching. I'm hitting the like button. And I'm sharing and subscribing. Peace and respect to all the commenters and contributors on the show both now and going forward. All right. My love, sir. Yeah, my respect. Um, so people, thanks to Richard for 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 that um call. We have to cut the show short, though, people. We have to cut the show short. Yeah, man. So, I have to go, people. I have to go. I do apologize, but I have to go on the road right now. It's 10.30, but we still have to go on the road. You know what I mean? So, we can triple treat. I did say I was going to give one hour, and I'm over the hour mark. Big up yourself, Dwight Spence. Respect. Big up Triple E. Big up Blake. Blake, come for trouble tonight. What is in Big up yourself. Patrick Riley. Welcome to Maryland. All right. Thank you, boss, man. Big up yourself. Mess up yourself. So, people, I'm going to go now because you have to make some preparation for the track meet tomorrow. Thanks very much for tuning in. If you are in the DMV area, people, just come on to that track meet tomorrow as well. Mess up yourself. Until next time, stay safe. It's out. Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that.